<sighs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Good morning guys, hello and welcome back to another Explore video. <laughs> I'm obviously pretty tired. Yeah, I had a few, uh, had a few late nights recently, been working. Uh, today is Sunday and uh, it's time for a day off and time for an Explore. But I am absolutely knackered, so, so tired, hence the uh, coffee behind me. <laughs> okay, so today we are going on another Explore. Uh, we're gonna have um, Steph with us, we're gonna have Tyler with us and we're gonna have Rupert with us as well. Uh, we're going to do an industrial abandoned warehouse and possibly another one of the ROC bunkers later on because it's one of the same area. Anyway, I'm going to go and get ready. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee and uh, we're going to go and meet Steph and Tyler. Hopefully, if Tyler gets up because apparently he's only been asleep for 15 minutes at 6.20 this morning. So, yeah, hopefully he'll turn up. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go get ready and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so we've just arrived at the site, uh, just trying to look for a way in now, but this is it behind me. Massive warehouse, it's even got a chimney, which is awesome. <laughs> I didn't realize it had that, but yeah, we've got to try and find a way in now. So I'll catch you guys in a second. It closed in 2009, uh, because they couldn't afford to keep it running. Okay. Uh, they're hoping to reopen it again in 2015 uh, with like a biogas sort of plant instead of using natural gas because um, that would be cheaper. Oh wow, it's such a huge. So this is a, uh, a brickworks, well, in case you're wondering. If you hadn't seen all the bricks laying around. <laughs> a tile museum, £10 entry. <laughs> That's brilliant. So as was Steph was saying, it's closed in 2009 and they were hoping to reopen it in 2015 but didn't come to fruition so now it's just left abandoned. I like the archway thing. Yeah, like, what is it, cooling or wastewater or something? Possibly. And so we did see uh, some pictures of this and uh, <laughs> the walls just like covered in porn. You could tell it was like a bloke's workplace, can't you? Oh wow, this is like proper old. I might have to blur a fair bit of this. <laughs> oh, look at that old calculator. That is proper old. I, I like this, yeah. You got one side of it, just a, a lovely, a lovely like scenic view. <laughs> Other side, we're weird. <laughs> So Rupert was great. just saying apparently these are the uh, the tiles that haven't yet been fired. You can tell. Yeah, because they, they haven't got that red colour and they're all cracked, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Crumbly. Hello. Who's there? <laughs> what the hell? Is that a Zimmer frame? That is a Zimmer frame. What the fuck is there a Zimmer frame in there? Well, I'm going to get some drone shots of that later. It's the base of the tower. Loving the lighting in this place. He's got sort of panels missing from the ceiling. It looks really good. Really atmospheric. Okay, dark and creepy area around here. Why not? That machinery, that's huge. That's some kind of filter or something. That, that's cool. Is that like where that's you. Got all the tiles oh, in wow, it. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so these are <laughs> all the tiles just kind of like in racks. Like that. I've seen enough racks today. <laughs> <laughs> Does it still work though? No, I pressed the button while you were looking at it. Ah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Risking it. 
Do it for the bants. It's quite cool. Massive hopper. I'm guessing for like all the sand or something, or whatever they used to make. I, see, I don't know anything. I told you I don't know anything about these places. Whatever they used to make bricks. <laughs> I don't fucking know. It's all these conveyor belt things as well. Might have to see if I can get up onto one of these and see, see from above. Okay guys, we're back after a little short break. We've been taking some scenic shots. Hopefully you've seen a few of those in the video, or you will later on. Uh, but uh, yeah, this place is pretty cool. I did climb up there, but it's scary. And I came down very quickly. <laughs> just trying to find uh, Tyler and Rupert, because they've disappeared. We can't even hear them now. Oh, I hear something. They are upstairs somewhere, aren't they? You can hear them like up there. There is a walkway here, uh, okay. so they've probably climbed up there somewhere. Okay. Rupert, yeah. got your bag here. Oh, thank you. What the hell is this? Some gross thing on the floor. Oh, I can get in, oh my God. I'm in here, in with the machinery. Where are you going? I'm down here. <laughs> I'm right. you can't, where are you going? The entrance is there. Where Tyler's just gone. Oh. This bit's cool, I like this. Oh, yeah. oh God, that's really, really shaky. You won't go too high, because it's actually quite wobbly. There's a big vat or something there. I don't know what that is. I kind of want to go up now. This ladder's not very big, so I'm going to risk it. <laughs> yeah, like a massive mixing thing. That of some description. Like that. I see loads of chains everywhere. I guess you have to replace chains on stuff pretty quite often. Go on, have a toffee coin, you know you want to. Oh, <laughs> I'm just joking, no one likes a toffee coin, they're shit. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I can't believe they actually left this. This must be like a ridiculously expensive piece of machinery. You could have lifted that. Well, I just disappeared to uh, to use the facilities for a little bit, but this is uh, this bit here is really wet and muddy. But I did find something pretty interesting. Interesting? Let's try that again. But I did find something rather interesting. I don't fall in this mud, and that is a murderous spade. Total legit murderous spade, obviously. Who's first? <laughs> What? It's not as good as a snow shovel. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's that big chimney again. It's huge. I kind of want to get the uh, the drone out at some point and fly over that. It actually might be a good place to take it off from. Just here. I'm not sure how many satellites we're going to get in this area though, because uh, we are pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. I don't even have any mobile phone signal on my phone, which is not good if anything happens. There's so much to look at. Like when I first saw this place, I thought, oh, yeah, it could be interesting. Nice pictures here. Don't see there'll be that much here to look at though. But actually, we keep on covering like little bits as we go around. You bloody perverts, you just can't stay awake, can you? I think you've already got hard hats. I think you've already got hard hats. <laughs> We're not uh, Rupert and Clara anymore. We're no. Maxwell, Maxwell Chilworth. Maxwell Chilworth and Jonathan Hewitt. Okay. Uh, Maxwell Chilworth and Jonathan Hewitt, welcome to the Explore. That's rude, it's spooky. Let's get this place back in business. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so uh, yeah, <laughs> we just got caught again. <laughs> so we're about to do, we got the drone out of the car, we're about to go and fly the drone up and uh, a white car came, drove up to it next to us. And uh, the guy was pretty polite, he was, he was just like, you know, you alright guys? And I was just like, yeah, we're just flying this up, I don't know if that's going to be okay or not. And he was just like, oh, we've had lots of people coming here stripping this out. My, uh, he goes, I don't, I don't mind, but if, you, if my boss came along, I wouldn't be doing my job properly. So he just asked if we could go and fly it from outside the gates. We should still hopefully get some drone shots from outside the gate. So. That's how you want it, you know, people don't get arsy with you, we're not breaking anything, we're just taking pictures and stuff, so we're gonna head back out now and uh, go and fly this up from outside the gate. I've been absolutely amazed by the support we've received on the videos recently. I mean, last week's video got, in the first hour, 50 likes in the first hour. <laughs> That's insane. So I've decided it's time to do a giveaway again, because I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I think the last time I did one was the uh, headset giveaway. Now, I've got quite a few new microphones recently. Uh, I've got the Rode Rycop, which I'm using right now, which hopefully sounds pretty good. Um, I've also got this um, Stereo Pro Rode mic as well, which is pretty good for getting like background noise and that kind of documentary feel. Um, but I've also got this one, which uh, I started using way, way back, and I'm not using it at all now. So I thought, why not just give it to you guys? It seems like a much better use of it rather than like selling it uh, and letting like somebody random get it. I might as well give it back to you guys so you guys can make your own videos and use this for it because this is about, I don't know, £50 mic? It's not like that cheap. Uh, so for some of you guys who are making videos, this is a really good addition, especially for upping quality when you're first starting out. So I thought, why not? Let's do this. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I want you guys to comment down below with the hashtag giveaway um, if you would like to be entered for this. Now, I'm not gonna be announcing the winner till I hit 15 
100 subscribers. So we've got about 100, 170-ish, 160-ish to go. Um, but I think with the current growth we've been having recently and the, uh, the, the, the video views and stuff and the engagement on the videos, I really reckon we could get to that quite soon. So if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification button as well so you get notified of future videos. Uh, but also leave a comment down below with that hashtag giveaway. And like I said, when we hit 1,500 subscribers, we'll be giving this away to one of you guys. Thank you.